Did you miss me? <laughs> I missed me. Oh my god. Uh, it is currently Friday, the 23rd of... <coughs> <coughs> Friday, the 23rd of December, Christmas Eve Eve. I haven't vlogged for a week. I have only been half alive for a week. Uh, I went straight into from like having a mild cold kind of like for the first two weeks of December, losing my voice throughout that time, having my concert feeling great. Uh, and then I went straight into another virus, which knocked me out uh, with a fever for the whole weekend. And um, then now I am still recovering uh, and it's got like, it's gifted me with a lot of snot, like a lot of snot, so much snot, yes. Okay, so, but we're, 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 we're kind of alive again, and um, I'm really excited because I have finally um, had a chance to set up my new computer. So I got my new computer probably like a month ago now, and you know, I've been slowly using it a little bit, but I needed to kind of like migrate all my files, that was a big thing, and then the biggest thing was um, my work email. Uh, making sure that like <clears throat> all my 10,000 email items and stuff were still there and I got all my drafts and rules and accounts and all that stuff. So that was a bit intimidating, but I did that yesterday and it all went fine. And now I'm kind of like, you know, I'm situated here with my shiny new computer that isn't noisy like my other one. <laughs> I'm using it. I am using it to do work. I am using it to do browsing Facebook um, and it's really cool. I'm really happy and it was um, very much uh, the right timing as well. Ugh, my hand's getting tired, my arm. It was very much the right timing because my old computer uh, on the last two vlogs that I edited just decided that it was going to crash every few minutes and just require a complete force restart uh, and I just couldn't edit on it anymore so I was actually already kind of like clunkily editing on this even though I didn't have any of my files so I did that for the um, for the choir vlog that was the one before this um, but um, now I've got everything migrated over and I've got everything situated in my nice ergonomic you know uh, space so it's gonna be really good yeah welcome welcome to this new vlog in which we probably just do family things uh, let me show you around the house a little bit so firstly teak are you being cute yes you are being cute oh do the upside down head teak do the upside down head she's so cute you are the cutie yeah here is the rather empty uh, tea advent calendar. Although I didn't have COVID, at least I don't think so, I tested, uh, I did lose my sense of smell and taste again, so um, I haven't really been able to enjoy this. That's why there's still a few left of, uh, of, of dates that have gone by. I've got a few left there to enjoy now that my um, sense of smell has come back and sense of taste. Oh, life is not worth living, yo, when you can't taste your food. Here is the Christmas tree, which you've seen before, but now with presents. Many, 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 many presents. Presents. The tree has been a bit naughty because it's not drinking the water that we gave it. So it's like, it's getting all like dry and droopy and stuff. <laughs> and like dropping little clumps of branches and stuff. Poor thing. Oh, my hair is something else. This is a new member of the family. Uh, and so are them, they, th those, uh, and then some more there. But this snail, honestly, is the most exciting thing. Look at him in his little teeth, cleaning the aquarium, and he's so fast. Like, you'll be, you'll be, you'll be like, where, where's the snail? And then you like have to find him, like, where's Wally? It's so good, it's so good. So yeah, we got some new fish. Uh, and um, and a little aquarium cleaner. So, so yeah, I guess that's the little home update. Um, today we're doing something. I don't know what. I haven't got loads of energy, so we'll see. Got a 
buy a couple more presents. Not me, actually. It's uh, some some other people need to be taken out to uh, buy some more presents. And um, yeah. bit of a non sequitur but you know what's also awesome about this new computer I get to finally play the Witcher <gasps> I tried to play it on my old computer but it just like it didn't work um, so I've been waiting for years to play the Witcher 3 <sighs> did I remember to bring up my tripod of course not I've got a few fun things to show you I caved and I ordered the Baibon advent calendar. I have repressed how much of, of how much of the of the amount that I spent is uh, was actually postage and tax rather than you know the actual calendar. But in any case, I'm very excited about it. I haven't opened it yet because I wasn't feeling well enough, and I really want to kind of enjoy it. So I don't know. Maybe I'll do like uh, the first 15. I think there's 15 days in there. I think um, I'll do the first 15 days of. January maybe? That might be fun. What I also got, this a friend of mine gave this to me, Crypt X. It's like a like a riddle kind of puzzle game. So kind of maybe similar to like what the advent calendar is like. So solving riddles and stuff like that. So that's exciting. And then I also got um <clears throat> this was very exciting. Um let me just show you this picture. This Actually, no, I'll flip I'll flip the camera around and I'll show you that way so I don't have to move it. Right, uh, that a person uh, playing the clarinet is my mum when she was, I don't know how old she is there, like 12 or something. Uh, my mum was very musical, um, playing instruments from a very young age and uh, she kind of passed that on to me. I used to play the recorder when I was little, then I played the violin, then I played the piano and then as an adult I... Uh, started playing the violin again and then now I'm in a choir so lots of musical stuff my mum played the clarinet um, until I was about two or three and then she moved on to the saxophone I still have her instrument so I have her clarinet um, literally the one from that picture uh, and I also have her saxophone although I don't have it here it's in Holland the clarinet I have been wanting to get repaired and reconditioned for a long time it hadn't been played in you know um, well since I was three so it hadn't been played in uh, over 30 years and it was in pretty bad shape it had like a crack in it somewhere like a, a small crack but it did have crack in it so it needed repairing um, wanting to have that done for years and years now just never really kind of gotten around to it but I finally uh, had it repaired I have it here in its original case <laughs> and um yeah, so uh, I don't play the clarinet, but I'm going to learn uh, and I can't wait. So here's a little peek at what it's looking like. Um, yeah, they did a really nice job. It uh, looks and feels amazing. So um, I'm gonna get myself some lessons. I've been watching some YouTube videos, but I do wanna get some proper lessons as well to hopefully start playing the clarinet. I've just started working on a new friendship bracelet. Um, this one actually for a friend. Uh, I hope she doesn't watch these vlogs. <laughs> I don't think she does. And yeah, it's good. It's like the, the, the start of a friendship bracelet is always like super annoying and fiddly with like the measuring and like putting the thing in the middle and stuff and the first few rows are fiddly. But then once you get going, it's like, it's really nice. This one is worked diagonally. Uh, which is fun and uh, yeah, I'm looking I'm, ha I'm having a good time. I haven't had time for uh, Friendship braceleting for ages. So it's nice to take a little bit of time for that. It's kind of the holidays now um, I'm behind I'm behind on video recording. I'm behind on everything, but it's kind of like It's stuff that I can catch up on next week so it's all it's kind of like I don't I'm trying not to stress about it I mean, I'm not stressing about it to be 
completely honest. Um, I just am aware of the fact that stuff still needs to be done, um, but it will get done and that'll be fine. My hair is just terrible. Anyway, I'm gonna close out this vlog because it's been so random. It's been so random and dark by which I mean like there's not much daylight and it's been rambly and it was just one of those little after I've been ill catch up vlogs. <laughs> so I also just wanted to say that um, my next vlog I think will be kind of like Christmas Eve, Christmas Day vlog um, and that is going to be a Patreon only vlog and then after that I mean, I guess this is kind of the end of Vlogmas because I obviously missed a week because I was ill. <clears throat> so, you know, whatever. So, yeah, um, thanks for um, watching these Vlogmas vlogs and being with me on this journey. I've really enjoyed uh, making these vlogs. I've really appreciated all your comments and uh, your enthusiasm and your gratitude. I really appreciate it. It's, um, it's very nice. Onwards uh, with more arty vlogs hopefully <laughs> and yeah so my next vlog which is going to be like Christmassy Christmas day stuff is going to be over on my Patreon if you would like to go over and check that out the link is in the description in the meantime uh, wishing you all a very Merry Christmas if you celebrate Christmas if not Hope you have a nice time off if you have time off and wishing you all the best for 2023. I will see you soon in the next video. Bye. Bye. Shake the phone.